Hello everybody and welcome back to NEMS Plays EU4. I'm your host NEMS with Burr Crew Studios and we're back in our Cologne series. Um, we just got our uh, um, uh, one of our uh, fabrications completed on uh, mines. We're going to go ahead and fabricate on mines itself. And then we need to put a few other uh, diplomats to work. Uh, we spent a lot of time last episode topping off relations with different people. Uh, so let's do Baden, Provence, Flanders. Sure. Uh, means, meanwhile, uh, Nevers, Augsburg, Bohemia, and Flanders. Uh, now that we have a Cassus Belli on them, uh, I think they will still get help from Bohemia, which is unfortunate. Um, and they are allied to mines. That's a minus 50. We're rivaled to Pomerania. That's another minus 50. So we can't be buddies with the Emperor at this point. Uh, we could abandon Pomerania, uh, and that might be enough. But we won't get their help on this war. Um, the Palatinate is being invaded by Savoy. What is this war about? Um, let's check. So the Savoyard Conquest of Corsica. Okay, so they're going after the last Genoese um, piece here in, in Old Europe. And that will leave Genoa uh, basically just with the Crimean Peninsula, or Crimean Peninsula here and uh, some of their territory just south of Lithuania, which eh, it's kind of weird. All right. Our manpower is doing pretty good, and it is maxed out, basically. No, it's not maxed out. I'm sorry. Um, it's uh, two-thirds. Uh, importing naval supplies. So, two mercantilism or 60 diplo power, and Lubeck likes us more. Tank. I'll take the, mer the mercantilism every single time. Uh, and our mercantilism is actually doing pretty good, 23%. Basically, every percent of manpower gives you a plus 2% to their provincial trade power, uh, which can be a pretty big deal. Now, uh, speaking of trade power, uh, we are maxed out on our, um, uh, our fleet currently. Uh, when we do go to war with Lubeck, that's going to be the biggest problem, is they will have a much stronger navy. They have 11 heavies. 11 heavies. These freaking provinces are so rich that they can afford that. So we'll have to beat them on land, because there's no way we're going to beat them by sea. Uh, do I want to lose 83 ducats or a bunch of other stuff? I'll just lose the ducats. Uh, we are still way ahead on tech, so we're going to do a little bit more improvement on some provinces here soon. Um, let's see. Let's check um, influence. So influence at 50. and uh, So we could do a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to Ah, yes, I forgot about this. So because the uh, we haven't improved the base tax and the, uh, the Diplo, we can no longer improve military here uh, or here. So we can still do it here in Westfallen because that's six. Uh, so we can do two more here without doing the others. Um, and that's why this is so able to go so high is because the production is so, uh, is so high. So let's check a couple of these others. Um, we could certainly improve our capital, and I think I might just because it's it's fairly inexpensive. Um, but I'd almost rather use the diplo power here uh, because we get the extra trade power. So I'll do that, and then I will. Uh, oh, Baden declared one in Palatinate. Interesting. Uh, and then we'll start getting some of these other ones up. Uh, so we want to spread it around a little bit. We don't want uh, we don't want any of our uh, land to become overly um, kind of uh, a significant portion because the, the chances that we'll lose land are not insignificant. Uh, yes, two more in our, uh, mercantilism. Thank you, thank you very much. So, Bohemia, you're gonna help him anyway. You are, you son of a biscuit. 
Uh, if we could get Poland, that could maybe allow us to do that, but we're really going to have to wait for Bohemia to have some sort of an issue because remember, they have a PU over Bavaria as well. So Bohemia really is the big power in Germany. So I can't, I can't go to war with mines like we planned. Um, let's see. Lubeck, though. Lubeck might still be an option for us. Uh, if we could get Great Britain, that would be such a big deal. Um, let's go ahead and make sure we fabricate on uh, uh, on Lubeck so we can at least get our Casas Belli's. And we pr pretty much always need to have that handy. So I'm going to do um, Bremen for now. And then we'll do Hamburg as well. Maybe Stata. I want those three for sure. That would be a significant dent in his ability to make money. And that would be a big deal. Now, the reason I need um, um, the reason I need Great Britain so much is that uh, without Great Britain, we can't have naval superiority. And not having all those blockades will have an impact on our war score. So I would like to do that if at all possible. But we're uh, still building up favors with him. And that's fine. Um, we get basically, uh, I think it's one a year, or t uh, one every two years. So we're still a little ways off from that, but that's fine. When we go after Lubeck, we really do need, uh, we really do need Great Britain. And I can't give them land or Poland land because they don't have any claims or anything. Now this is interesting though, because Bohemia right now would not accept because they don't like Lubeck. Now Lubeck has... Uh, 27,000 troops. We're a military tech ahead of them. We've got, uh, we have more than Lubeck by themselves. Um, Saxony, Frankfurt, and Munster. So, uh, Munster is at war right now with Bohemia, which means they're not going to have much of an army. Um, Saxony is also at war with Bohemia. I think we found our time. I think this is absolutely our time. So I'm going to move up here. Um, I think the only one we have right now, though, is... Yeah, we don't have anything. So uh, as soon as we get this Casas Belli, uh, then we're going to... Um, we may just go ahead and attack. We just need that war to last long enough uh, because we've got 25,000 with our allies' troops, and then we by ourselves have 36,000. Uh, so I, that's a pretty significant amount, especially since these guys are basically all uh, really screwed. And yeah, Bohemia, you, you come on up. You come on up. Um, but we really need this uh, claim to finish as soon as possible. Uh, while Bohemia is still in that war. That's the important part. And do I have a better... Let's go ahead and roll. We'll, we'll do the air thing. That's not horrible. And then we'll roll one. Uh, that is horrible. Um, let me kick this guy. We'll roll one more. And... I just suck at rolling generals, apparently. Goodness. Okay, well. That's fine. So we're just going to do... 2-1-2-1 um, two, one, two, one is fine. Luckily, Oldenburg has a decent general. And uh, they've got the three-shock general. So uh, we just need that... Uh, we need that thing to finish up before this war ends. They're at a bunch of... oh. Wow, there's a whole lot of wars going on right now. Interesting. Can we take advantage? We'll find out soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and improve the Diplo on Oldenburg. And probably my capital. Oh wow, that's a big fight. That is a big fight. In my property, in my land, and uh, Munster. Oh, France is involved now. Well, Bohemia might be screwed. This could this could all turn out very well. Uh, let you go home. Uh, free face tax, thank you. Frankfurt just insulted us. That's good. Um, 
Bohemia would help them still, though. So we're going to go back to Oldenburg. And I'm going to click to go home at war, because once we declare, their navy will just wreck us. So um, don't want that to happen. Uh, let's check on Lubeck's army again real quick. 27,000 still, yes. Uh, we're almost done with that. Uh, we're topped off with, I think, everybody, honestly. Uh, Lithuania, sure. We just have so many diplomats that, frankly, we've gotten such great relations with so many people. Uh, the Ottomans, why not? Um, yeah, that's fine. Almost there. The real question is, will Bohemia survive long enough? Um, and that's the part I don't know. Saxony's in two wars now. So this is about as good a time as it's going to get. This is very, very risky. Very, very risky. Um, they're not at war. Alright, we just finished our... Um, Cassus Belli. Poland would join now. That's fantastic. So let's do this. We need... Um, we need all three of these guys to help for sure. And I'm okay with everything else there. So here we go. We've declared war. We're finally dealing with Lubeck, theoretically. Um, in the meantime, oh gosh, what are you doing over there, Magdeburg? Uh, well, my vassal just got stomped in the face. That's always fun. Um, hopefully, uh, Holland will come to us. No, they're going somewhere else. No idea where they're going. Let me tell my vassals to um, support. All right, so they are sieging. Here comes Pomerania and Poland. Looks like Poland is going straight for Lubeck. Good for you. Um, Munster's getting stomped because they're part of that other war, which is good. Uh, I need to peel off a siege and go get my siege leader. I believe I still have a two pip siege guy. I do not. Son of a gun. I'm going to roll one more general who also sucks. My god. Uh, yes, free stability is good. I know my armor tradition is low, but my goodness. Uh, I'll pick up another one of these one pip guys, though. <laughs> Here's Holland hanging out. So we definitely have a troop advantage. We haven't leveraged it yet because we're busy sieging things. And Lubeck is basically sieging my vassal at the moment. Frankfurt is seizing Braunschweig. Um, if we can get these three forts, though, that would be a big deal. Do you have a siege guy? Yes. How about you, Poland? Yes. Okay. This is going to take quite a while, though. Uh, ooh, do I want to go ahead and tech up? I'm going to do this just to get the, the bigger advantage in tech. And I am going to go ahead and upgrade my cannons because I'm not in immediate danger of being in combat. So everyone that I thought would join their war did. Frankfurt, Georgia, Munster, and Saxony. 
Um, now, if they go and hit this, um, I am going to at least support. If I can get there, and I don't think I can. That's unfortunate, because I had to go through Frankfurt here. All right, that's fine. You win this round, Lubeck. That's a problem. <laughs> They're basically going to go nail my stack here. So I'm going to have to abandon that siege. Um, get a better maneuver guy. Uh, it looks like I can't escape. Alright, so I was completely outmaneuvered there. I'm going to go back to Berg and try to get him to go back to Berg. So I can at least rally my army together. And then if we can get rid of the Lubeck stack, as much as I'm really pissed off that I lost that siege there. I shouldn't say pissed off. I'm a, I'm disappointed that I lost that siege. Um, I'm going to take all my armies here. And we're going to go punch. We're going to go punch Lubeck right in their face. Come on, get there. Mm -hmm. We should have enough numerical superiority here to do what we need to do. Yes, yes we do. Now where's Lubeck gonna go? To their capital maybe? No, they're going further. Bum -bum. I really need to go get Bremen, though. Um, let's see. Magdeburg, go deal with your home province. Uh, all right, we got Lube we got Hamburg siege down. That's fantastic, and they did uh, move the siege to us. And it looks like um, Holland is going to go deal with that. So that's fantastic. Um, Oldenburg, come siege Stade. Or are you going to go unseed something? No, they're on heat sieging. Way to go, Poland. All right. So that's one fort down. We'll tell Poland to go siege um, Lubeck if they aren't already on their way to do so, which I believe they are, honestly. Uh, Pomerania will improve with you. Uh, yeah, we can lose the pr uh, prestige right now. Let's see. Improve with Riga. And Portugal, maybe? That works. Did I do that? Did I hit the button? Apparently not. I think I got caught at a save like that. Okay. So they are now trying to siege their uh, Hamburg back. We've got a bit of a lead here. So uh, as soon as we finish this, we'll go tr try to hit that army again. Um, let's see how that works out. Uh, they're already to low enthusiasm. Now, let's see. What we're going to ask for is, without a question, uh, Bremen. And I might want Stada and Hamburg. Is that going to be... Yeah, that's a bridge too far because of the sheer amount of development there. Um, but is there someone I can have them release as a nation? I could have them release Hamburg. Um, and I could have them release Holstein to break them up a bit. All right, we'll see. Uh, we need to get a few more things siege down first, but um, wow, that's a big fort. 
It's the nice part about having money. You can have a level four freaking forts. We do not have money. <laughs> uh, we are going to hold off on Diplotech uh, for now. All right, so Frankfurt wants out. Somebody, um, I guess somebody went down to siege them. Uh, so they want to give us war reps and a bunch of ducats. So we'll take that. There we go. One one group out. Uh, Munster and Saxony. How are you guys doing? You are being sieged. All right, that's good. Pum, pum, pum. All right, we're at twenty one percent. They're still at negative forty nine on Hamburg, so we will attack them as soon as we're done here. Mm hmm. Now, I don't know how in the world we're going to eventually chop Bohemia down to size, but uh, once Lubeck, Lubeck is weakened, and they're not going to be, they're too big for us to have, like, you know, won this one victory and think that we, we've taken care of everything. Uh, but once we've trimmed them back, then the Bohemia Bavaria monster at some point will have to be addressed. But we'll probably need France or somebody for that, to be quite honest with you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. 49. Let's get the siege. Survey says. Survey says we got it. Now let's go punch them in the face in Hamburg. Um, this is not the brightest of battles, but I think we have enough. Uh, oh, thanks, Pomerania. Thanks for making it absolutely ludicrous. Oh, boy. We'll jump into Holstein. Siege that down. Uh, we'll siege Lauenberg down real quick. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. So, do we want trade efficiency and diplo power or 400 ducats? Ooh, man. I'm going to take the ducats right now. I need the money, I need to start building some buildings. Honestly. And I can't get to Schleswig or whatever the heck that is uh, because there's a fort blocking me. And that means I can't go any further. Which kind of sucks. But that's fine. We'll go um, We'll go deal with... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, these guys. Saxony. Thank you. Um, and then Munster. Let's go punch Munster in the face. All right. Uh, and then once Lubeck falls, that should change the uh, peace equation pretty fast. Because they're not even that far off away at this point. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're willing to take it as it stands now. All right, so let's double check what we want. We want... Um, Bremen and Stata, because that's not going to push us into. Uh, are we? Do we take Lunenburg too? No, nope, still too too much. All right. Um, there's nobody's cores we wanted to give back per se. Uh, we could have them give uh, Norgelin back to Sweden, uh, but man, I don't want Sweden to become too powerful either. Uh, release Holstein uh, just to break up the contiguousness of their lands and. Um, I thought I had Hamburg in there, but somehow I don't. I really wish I could take Hamburg. <laughs> well, that would keep the coalition down to just two, but man, that's really pushing it. But Hamburg is so amazing. So amazing. Could we release then Verden? Ooh. Oh, I don't know. It feels it feels too much. It feels too much. Let's stick with where we started. Let's release Holstein. Uh, maybe Mecklenburg. No. Saxe Lauenburg maybe. Uh, we could humiliate them. I'd almost rather have war reps and all their money, because they're rich. 
what else? Give up claims in Cologne. All right, we'll see. Um, once we get Saxony out of the war here, then um, we'll see where things go. All right, we got Thuringian. That's good. Saxony, surely you're ready to get out of this thing. You're not. Wow. Okay, well. That's fine, I guess. We're almost done. We're running this episode a little long, folks, but, um, you know, it's not going to take that much longer, I don't think, to get this war completed. Um, they are sieging lands back. That's a problem. So we're going to go deal with that. Holland's already in route as well. Let's punch him real good in the face. We lost a military leader. Oh, no. They all suck anyway. Who cares? All right, Lubeck, back, back to, back to nowhere with you, and then we'll retake this real quick before we uh, head back out. Magdeburg's doing a good job there in Leipzig. I'm really surprised they don't want to peace out yet. Um, how about you, uh, Munster? Do you want out yet? Now you will any second though. All right, there's Holstein. Oh, now we can get there. That's that's good news. Oh, there we go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, monster. Silly man. Oh, hey, look. Saxony went out all of a sudden. All right. Um... Uh, let's go ahead and take the war reps. I'll keep the uh, truce nice and short with those guys. Really ups our score. We should be able to get Munster out of here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we could take Mepin, but there's just no way I'm doing that. Uh, I would mind if you gave your claims up, though. I'll wait to do that. Uh, da -da. And then let's see how close we are with Lubeck here. Oh, they're willing to play ball right now. So we'd get Bremen and Stada. Um, God, we could release uh, cores to Denmark. That might not be bad, because I think that's relatively cheap. Uh, we can't humiliate them, right? But we could release Holstein, give Finn to Denmark, or Norgelin there. Hmm. Yeah, that might be where we stay with that. All right, so we're just uh, we're gonna get Munster out real quick. I don't know how George... Why did you even accept this war? Other than to irritate me and screw up my peace mathematics, you son of a gun. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're almost done with mapping, folks. Again, apologies on the long episode, but um, uh, I do... I hate I hate breaking off and cliffhangering wars if I don't have to. Alright, so Mepin's done. We will sue him for peace. Um, I don't suppose you want to be... My no, let's not do that. Alright, so give up your claims. Um, go back to being Catholic. Why not? Uh, give me money and give me money. Done. Alright, now... Down to you, Lubeck. Alright, give me my stuff. Uh, cores. That's too much. That's not... Yeah, so we can pretty much crip. I want to say cripple. Cripple might be a little too much, but we can do a lot of damage to uh, to these guys doing this. So we're going to boom the great menace that was Lubeck, thanks to some timing and some inopportune wars for his allies. Uh, and whole yeah, Saxony, buddy, you got not. You don't have much left. You are screwed. 
You might be one of my future vassals. Though I don't know if you have enough development to make it worth my time. You really don't. Wow. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get these two things coring, and then we're going to wrap the episode here, guys. Um, thank you very much for sticking with me in a long episode. I apologize. I try not to do that too much, but uh, I really feel like we, uh, we got a lot out of this episode. Um, in fact, I'm going to park my military in the center of the country. Um... And yeah, wow, rivalry's changing. Everything's changing. Oh my god, unlawful territory. I hate you. Um, god. Yeah, we'll deal with all this next episode. Anywho, um, if you like the uh, series, guys, drop a like down there. If you have any feedback, please put it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. i uh, love to engage with you guys. So uh, I've been your host, Nems. We'll see you next episode. Bye.